A deadly incident inside a Detroit gas station has city council considering new rules to protect customers. It all stems from a clerk's decision to lock the doors, trapping customers inside when a man pulled out a gun during an argument. And they couldn't escape. And then all three innocent bystanders were shot. One of them died. Sean Lay is live with what's being done to try and prevent this from happening again. Sean? Karen and Karen and Kimberly, good evening to you. Look, it's not anything new. It's some gas stations had that ability, the clerks behind protective glass, to hit a switch if there's danger to lock someone out of their shop. In this case, people were locked in the shop with a gunman. Now, it's early, but some on city council are saying locking people in a store should never happen again. Gas station owners, grocery stores owners, you are going to have to abide by the rules, not lock anybody out. We're going to shut you down. Detroit City Council member Mary Waters talking gas station safety in Detroit today. Waters says she herself has a strategy to make sure she's safe when filling up. I sometimes look around me to see if I can see anything. I do those things and I would encourage uh, residents to do the same exact thing. But it's this shocking shooting that has Waters and Detroit City Council considering new rules for gas station owners. At the mobile on McNichols and the Lodge earlier this month, gas station clerk Al Hassan Ayash is facing involuntary manslaughter charges for using the gas station's automatic switch to lock the store's door. In doing so, three innocent Innocent men were locked in that gas station with a gunman who then shot all three men, killing Gregory Kelly. Samuel McCray is charged with that shooting. Waters says locking anyone in a shop can't happen again. That has to be stopped. We cannot tolerate that. You cannot hold people a prisoner inside of your store. When somebody tells you that if you don't unlock the door, I'm going to start shooting, you better believe them believe them because they're very serious about those kinds of things. That case of three innocent customers inside locked in for a time, begging the clerk to get out. At the last second, the clerk did unlock that door. It was too late. Those shots were fired. That has definitely, Karen, gotten city council's attention. Early yet, though, on how this is going to work out and the exact wording, two council members are working on an ordinance. As soon as we know what's in that ordinance, we'll bring it to you right away. Back to you. Sean, obviously so much needs to change here, so this never happens again. Are they considering any other changes, council? Same, same thing we hear a lot from customers in neighborhoods, lighting, security, uh, more security, more lighting and cameras. A lot of gas stations have improved in that. They say others do need improvements. So that's something else the city will be looking at. All right, Sean Lay live for us in Detroit tonight. We appreciate it.